Nice to be with you. I drove for it. I'm here with Dr. Drawn the Mobile Lady with the University Center of the Mountains and Donna Rowark with Hazard Community and Technical College, who's Chief Information Officer. Uh, we started on a voyage to Europe uh, about two weeks ago and left from Cincinnati. And Donna, where did we end up at? Well, our first stop was in London, England. Um, where we made a, a couple of visits with some folks, but then we our next stop was on to um, Shannon, Ireland, where we visited with a drone company that is looking for some, some testing locations here at the drone court. How long were we gone to Ireland that day, drone? Day? It was a, I would, I would say, a 16-hour day, going, coming, the whole travel, whole thing set. It was a long day. It was a long day, and it was just the beginning. That was how the whole trip was. We probably three to five hours sleep a night generally, didn't mm -hmm. we? That, that's what we averaged for the entire two trip. Week. Yeah. <laughs> trip. Mm -hmm. But I, I mean troopers. So when we got finished in London, uh, we traveled to Garanda. Paris, France. Garanda for the, Paris. Oh, for the International Paris Air Show. Uh, one of the largest in the world. Uh, and longest running, mm -hmm. and the USA Drum Port had a booth. Uh, we were exhibitors uh, as a part of the Kentucky Commonwealth uh, establishment in the USA United States wing, which was humongous mm -hmm. um, and, and just impressive. And Bart, I think you can probably fill in some details on that. It was just it was amazing. There overwhelming. Was, yeah, there were six. There were six convention halls. We met. A lot of people. A lot of people came through the booth. Uh, we got to work with uh, the Kentucky Aerospace Consortium, One East Kentucky, the Kentucky Economic Development Cabinet, and several several companies from Kentucky that were there as well. And thank you, Four Roses, for the bourbon that we got to share with our guests to come over mm -hmm. and visit us. But their show was just amazing. It really was. And we met some unbelievable people. What do you think about it, Donna? The contacts that we made with some of the companies and everything, the correspondence that we made, uh, the opportunity to meet with Three Star General that came up and spoke mm -hmm. with us and told us what we needed to do in order to make connections with the military and how we could get on their contracts was huge contact mm -hmm. for us. The foot traffic that we had at our booth alone kept us busy. Geronda and I never sat down. I mean, I know you were busy out trying to make those meetings with those other folks and mm -hmm. everything, but Geronda and I were steadily on our feet Yeah, those 10 or 12 hours. Swollen. I still have blisters on top of blisters. A little long from walking, uh -huh. the walking that we had to put in yes. uh, just to get into the show and everything, but that was massive. I think uh -huh. it was over 300,000 folks that were there. Well, there it, it was. It was crazy to get into. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually had the Secretary of State uh, come by our booth. We got to speak to the uh, FAA mm -hmm. uh, acting chairman, and it was unbelievable who all was at their show. The third, first three days was for executives only, so the people you talked to were decision makers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we talked to a lot of them. But we researched, and we went and visited the people that we thought we might have some alignment with, um, and we, we were able to learn and pivot and make some very good contacts mm -hmm. pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, but in the three days, the wonderful thing about it was the organization of the parking. We got to park right next to the buildings. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> you don't want to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, in our dreams. Oh. You're on in the high. I had a two mile walk every day. We got our steps in. Yeah, they got their steps yeah. in. Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not complaining. I, there was, to get any place at the, at the air show, I mean, it was, it was bigger than anything I've ever been to in my life. It was enormous. You you got your walking in. You literally uh, you literally had to hump it from one point to the other. But it was unreal too. You had equipment from um, probably a hundred nations that were there, mm -hmm. maybe more. Uh, you had uh, aircraft from dozens of nations that were mm -hmm. flying at any time you'd be inside talk to somebody and it was almost constant jets flying over mm -hmm. um, military aircraft yeah. drones helicopters from all different countries pretty amazing, mm -hmm. pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. but we worked ourselves uh, just about to, uh, in, into a dizzy phase by the time we got finished at their show mm -hmm. it was a long time in it was a long time to get back 
uh, but it was worth every minute of it. I mm-hmm. think we made a good representation for our area and for Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Um, and there were some educators there too, by the way, which was really neat. You know, for me, with my educators hat on, UCM hat on as well. Mm-hmm. I got to meet uh, the chancellor and some other folks from my Emory Riddle Aeronautic University partners, mm-hmm. um, or, or will be partners. That's been approved, and we're working on that particular piece. And uh, got to talk to some folks from some other colleges, and universities that were looking at programming and some you know, possible possible partnerships or other ways to expand in that direction. So it was just a nice value added. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it was awesome having drawn there because uh, when they came, and she's the one, she's actually the one that works with the, <coughs> the other universities that uh, partner with HCTC, and mm-hmm. which the drone port is partners with uh, HCTC and works with the other universities as well. But it helps train our workforce mm-hmm. and get our workforce prepared for what's happening right in front of our eyes with this technology exactly. in our region. So I think it was really good to have you there talk to them. I mean, mm-hmm. it was value added for me as mm-hmm. well to be able to mm-hmm. focus on the economic development part of attracting companies here. And Donna's got such a background on this, she's been working on it since the very beginning. Mm-hmm. And it allowed me to go and talk to people without having to worry about uh, what, what message mm-hmm. was being sent. We were all on the same. Uh, she had that technical yeah. skill set because a lot of times they were talking about connections and the you know internet interact. I don't know you all got into tech talk, uh, but many times she was able to fill that kind of thing in. And a lot of it was professional development for me. I, I felt like I learned a lot sitting and listening, uh, and then was able to do some other work uh, myself on the side. And one of the key things though was just the whole importance of we're very cutting edge right now and we've got to keep that going yeah. mm-hmm. and a good example of why was when we made it over to Brussels um, oh. and over to Belgium and looked at that EU drone port. What an amazing facility. That was fabulous. I want that here. Me too. Me yeah, too. me too. Now. <laughs> Mark did an amazing job showing uh, showing what they've done. He's a visionary and he, he got it implemented. We He had the uh, he had funding from the EU. He uh, had support from uh, his local government as well as the uh, federal government, and they've they've made big steps forward on that. And I, we can only hope that we can do something similar to that moving forward. Uh, it's funny how well we aligned. Uh, but speaking of alignment, I'm gonna back up to France for just a minute. Um, I remember uh, there's a place called Arch de Triumph, and we were trying to unwind the car one night uh, at the roundabout. Don, do you want to tell about that one? I don't know, but I recall what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> No, you don't remember going around and about uh, the Arc de Triomphe? Both of these folks drove around the Arc de Triomphe. Not which because is, we wanted to. It was a free for all. That was amazing drivers right here. I unfortunately did not have to drive at all. And not I am true. so glad we were in a parking lot. That at an Ikea somewhere in France that we don't know. But we yeah. almost got locked in permanently. Alarms going off. We didn't know why they were going off, and then we realized, oh no, they were waiting for us to, to get out of the <laughs> yeah. yeah, but, but you all very quickly then decided you were not letting me on the road anywhere in France. You did really good, but it's just <laughs> difficult to go from driving automatics to a straight shift and then out on the highway. Well, it would have been hard enough it. if I'd been an automatic in that traffic, let alone. Uh, I mean, I don't see how y'all <laughs> eight <laughs> lanes and no lanes of traffic running eighty miles an hour and. And we, well, we said the only good thing about it is they were at least all going in the same direction. True. And True. another thing we found out, if you have your nose, even a hair of your bumper in front of somebody else, they will yield to you. You have the right away. We did not know that until that time. And the stoplights, do not run a stoplight. <laughs> do not run a stoplight. The they first do honor their stoplights. They honor stoplights. Yeah. And I like the flexibility of yellow there is not that <laughs> the very first light that i thought i'd take advantage of there was cars started pulling in front of me and behind me and we oh, eventually got yeah. through the through the thing but you you like we learned uh, we we learned through um you know trial and error trial and error but fortunately not too much error <laughs> yeah but come back uh, and we've contacted the people that we worked with uh, we've I've talked to three of them today, including one of them from France, and we've made some amazing connections. And we are working with these people. Um, we have been helping create jobs along with the people who have taken the test and helped create them themselves. But this is a this is an ongoing project. We're very, very, very grateful for the opportunity you've gotten to go. We work very hard for you all too. 
I can promise you that uh, Donna and Rhonda put in a lot of time and work for this, and I couldn't have done it without them. So uh, I'm thankful. Thank you all for that. And I had the best time. I've laughed, and I've kept a smile on my face ever since. There's me antics that we went through through the, <laughs> through the whole thing. It was just it was just hilarious. But what do y'all <laughs> y'all have anything you'd like to say in conclusion? Oh, I'm tired. I am too. But it was a, a once in a life experience. I mean, again, truly, the higher show was just phenomenal. And then uh, again, the, the drone part was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I mean, just some of the people we met were phenomenal. I, I don't know what else we can say. I mean, mm -hmm. It was just phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah, I mean, I think we see firsthand what an economic impact the EU drone mm -hmm. court has made on their community and what their vision and our mission that we have with the drone port can make on our yeah. community and our region and our state. Yeah. So, so mm -hmm. just move forward. We all have the same mission, yeah. same yeah. vision. Amen. Well, thank you all. And uh, with that, we'll uh, bid you fair do. But uh, we look forward to talking to each of you about what, what we're doing with the USA Drone Port. Thank you all. <laughs>